Hi everyone, my name is uh, Dr. Saurabh Prakash and uh, I'm an associate professor in Department of Orthodontics in Ames University. Orthodontics is a specialized branch of dentistry which mainly deals in correction of your misalignment of your teeth and your jaws. We correct your teeth and jaws with the help of different appliances. Example which commonly we know and we have heard about is braces. Alright, so we use braces and other appliances to correct your teeth and jaws. You see, in today's world, it's it's uh, uh, beauty and health has become the main priority of a human being. So when you go out beside cosmetics, beside a good dress, what you need to wear is a beautiful smile. Unfortunately, uh, not everyone is born or blessed with a beautiful smile. This is where an orthodontist plays a role. All right, in correcting your teeth and in your correcting in your jaws. So sometimes what happens is uh, when people don't have a very nice arrangement of teeth or their jaws, they don't feel very confident about their smile. They have more of a conscious smile. So sometimes you must have seen people uh, when they smile, they will either cover their uh, face with their hand or they will look down and smile or they'll look somewhere else and smile just because they're not confident about their smile. All right, so this is where we will put up braces and we will start correcting people's smile and we will give them a good smile design. All right, so uh, what mainly we need is a well-balanced face. What is well-balanced face is basically when you have all your teeth aligned very well, when you have all your jaws aligned very well, you have a very nice, beautiful, well-balanced face. Sometimes what happens is uh, people, people are confused. They think, they think their teeth are out or their teeth are having a problem, but no. Actually what has happened is the jaws have the problem. And when the jaws have the problem, definitely you don't have a very, very well balanced face. All right. So somewhere your profile, somewhere your looks are, are compromised. They don't look, they don't look exactly how, how a, a handsome person or a beautiful person should. Most of the times uh, parents or patients come to us at uh, what you can say as an adult age or after 17, 18 years of age and the problem there is they have been misinformed or misled by somebody. They come with that misinformation that orthodontic treatment should only be done after 16 to 17 years of age. Now that is where the problem lies. If you have a problem with your teeth, we can still handle it. But if you have a problem with your jaws, the earlier you come, the better it is. So the earliest age which you can actually approach your orthodontist or you can approach your dentist for a consultation is around seven to eight years of age. That is the time when actually a child is growing. We can manipulate your growth. We can bring your jaws forward and backward with very simple appliances, without doing any surgeries, without doing any complicated procedures. It's a very simple procedures which we can do. But if, if you come after 14, 15 or 17 years of age, those manipulations or those corrections are a bit difficult. It's not impossible, but it becomes a bit difficult, that's all. Sometimes what happens when you come at a later stage, say after 17 to 18 years and your jaws need to be aligned, I'm not talking about your teeth, I'm talking about your jaws. That means your skeleton has to be adjusted then there is a problem. Why? Because that time most of the cases will have to go for a surgery. Once you have to go for a surgery and the patients hear about surgery, they're not very, very confident about getting their face to be going under surgeries to bring any changes because plastic surgery still hasn't become very famous among everyone. So what happens is when we, when we ask them or we tell them about these surgeries, they're called as orthognathic surgeries where both orthodontic treatment and surgical procedures are done together. So when, when we are doing these surgeries, when we, when we uh, tell the patient about these surgeries, they are they're not very happy about it. They don't want to go under the knife. They don't want to go under the surgery for these procedures. They say, is there any other method? So that any other method, yes, it is there. We call it as a camouflage treatment. But, uh, but we, we do not uh, give you an exact uh, change what we could. So it's always best to approach your orthodontist for any such correction at the earliest and possible. Now the procedures that we are following up here in Ames, is, uh, Ames Clinic is, uh, as you can see on the slide, uh, 
people are very conscious that you know they sometimes say that after a certain age they don't want because they they think they don't require especially after they are married they feel they don't they don't require an orthodontic treatment they are okay because now they already have kids and all so current slide what you are seeing the current patient what you're seeing in the picture is a lady which are is which is in her mid of 50s all right so she is quite an adult patient so she was advised an orthognathic surgery since she was not comfortable she approached us here in the clinic and she asked whether anything can be done so if you can see the changes she's still go going under the treatment and if you can see the changes how her profile how her jaws has been corrected with the help of braces and now we have the latest braces where we can actually uh, fidget with their programming that means we can choose all right what sort of braces for what patient we need we don't have to put the same braces for every patient we have the liberty of choosing we have a choice where we can pick up what braces we are going to put in our patients all right so as you can see there this the profile how it has changed from where her upper jaw has behind is behind and her lower jaw is forward and after during the treatment in between the treatment when we are seeing we can see her jaws have almost aligned beautifully if you see her her teeth arrangement they, she was very unsatisfied with it she didn't know she had a jaw problem she was very unsatisfied with her teeth and if you can see her upper teeth are behind her lower teeth and they are very crowded they are very very badly arranged all right so once we started the treatment we didn't do any removal of teeth and, and we started her treatment because I think most of the patients, they get scared. Uh, either they are undergoing surgery, they don't want it. Even if when we tell them that we are going to remove certain teeth, they're not very happy about it. So now with the latest braces, we have this choice that we can avoid, uh, avoid removing teeth in certain cases. In her case, we did not. So if you can see how the arrangement of her teeth has come out, it has come out beautifully. Now she, with this particular arrangement, which she has currently now, she can very well bite okay aesthetically she looks very good and even her functions her face is getting very very well balanced okay here's another example of a young child who was in his 12 or 13 years of age and he came us came to us at a very correct time and we could actually manipulate his growth so if you see he has a problem with his jaws he came with a complaint of that his teeth are very out but ideally his lower jaw was way behind so when we saw the case we explained to the parents we explained the child that this is the issue we will we will sort it out so again what we did was we first tried bringing his jaw forward with the normal appliances as i said braces is not only the solution there are many other appliances with orthodontics which most of the people are not very well aware of as you can see the correction in his profile how his lower jaw has come up forward you can see how his smile has changed in the first picture where you can see on the slide is his you can see his teeth quite out falling on the lips and and they don't look very very nice they don't look as a very beautiful smile so he was very conscious every time he used to smile he used to hide his face somewhere he used to hide his face under his arm or he used to put his uh, hand over his face and after we started with this treatment after nearly six months you can see the changes how his teeth has changed how confident smile he has got this is a very random picture which we have shown uh, of the patient this is another case where we have again uh, correct the jaw alignment his jaw was way behind and there's another complication which i'll be talking later in the presentation about what happens when your jaws are especially your lower jaw is behind what can happen what complication can it give all right so right now when we corrected his this child's uh, arrangement you can see how his teeth arrangement have beautifully corrected he had a very deep and traumatic bite that means you cannot see his lower teeth when he came to us, only his upper teeth were visible. His lower teeth were completely hiding uh, uh, under his uh, upper teeth. So that is actually a wrong bite. That is what we call as a very traumatic bite. So that means it will harm you since he's a young patient. So, so not much of a problem now. But as he is advances in his age, he will have a lot of bone loss. His teeth will start moving. There will be many other complications related to it. So it's best if you can correct all these pro uh, problems early, as early as possible. All right, one uh, thing which has become a major threat uh, all over the world beside COVID is, is your obstructive sleep apnea, which people are very, very less aware about. All right, basically, you, uh, obstructive sleep apnea, to explain in simple terms, is what you know as snoring. All right, now when a person is snoring very loudly, basically, he's not able to breathe. He's lacking oxygen. He's not breathing. You're basically dying. 
actually in that procedure. So this only doesn't happen in adults, it happens in children. So recently uh, what has happened is the medical society has already included the dentist into this field because how dentists can help is since we get to see the child quite early in life so we can actually find out whether the, patient, the child is having such problem. We are doing a lot of cases here in Ames University about this obstructive sleep apnea and what we have seen is most of the parents are totally not aware about it. When they come, they just come for a normal orthodontic treatment. When we tell them the child is having this problem, they, they are quite surprised. When we ask, is your child sleeping properly? Now what this obstructive sleep apnea does is it breaks your sleep. You don't get a continuous sleep. It breaks your sleep into parts. So you don't get a very good sleep. So when we ask parents sometimes that did your, does your child, child sleep properly, the parents are like yes, my child even sleeps longer than what, uh, what, what the normal timings are. Sometimes he doesn't even get up. So the confusion here is the child not getting up early. Why? There's something wrong because he has already had his 8 to 9 hours of sleep. Now when we are saying that child sleeps 8 to 9 hours, they said no, he sleeps much more than that. But the child is very lethargic in the morning. Then we ask, do the, do the child gets any complaint from the school? They say yes, the, the teachers complain that they don't concentrate, he sleeps off in the class, etc, etc. So basically what I like to request all the parents and, and take care of their, about their children is to please see any such signs and symptoms if your child is getting up at night or he's going to the toilet frequently, he's getting up to drink water, he gets up with a headache, all these symptoms and plus any complaints from the school where the child is unattentive, or child is a bit grumpy you have to see all these signs and symptoms about the child and and you have to be aware why is this happening it's not because your child is notorious or naughty it could be because of this problem because of a sleep fragmentation what we call as so please approach your doctor as soon as possible if you have any such problem because it has got a big threat it is related to your blood pressure it is related to your heart diseases all these sleep apnea have very very bad symptoms which you need to learn about all right, they are even latest study says that even the patient might have an Alzheimer disease because of this. All right, now the popular myths that are related to braces is, is pain uh, after you wear braces. Well, I would like to tell all of you, no, there is usually no pain after you put up braces. Usually, yes, so it's something new in your mouth, so you need to get friendly with them and it takes hardly three to four days to get adjusted to your braces and after that there is nothing else there's pressure a slight amount of pressure but no pain because we give very very light forces which are not supposed to cause pain if you are having pain then you have to refer back to your orthodontist uh, informing them that you are having a severe pain because something is not correct there all right another thing another question which is generally asked is after uh, wearing braces will we have problem in eating or talking uh, no, in fact your speech will become more clear once your teeth are aligned properly, your jaws have come into proper alignment, you will have a better and much more clear speech. As far as eating is concerned, uh, usually we request our patients only till few days till they get friendly with their braces, not to eat anything hard. After that, you can eat everything how you normally were eating. All right, but yes, you cannot break, you cannot bite or munch onto very hard thing like ice cubes or or crabs. That should be avoided. Beside that, I think you can eat everything and anything you like. Third thing, I think which most of the patients are getting a bit conscious to come for treatment to a dentist is about now the COVID. Now, once we are talking about COVID. Uh, let me tell you, we have full precautions we are taking in our clinic. Once the patient enters here, we take scan their temperature. After we have scanned their temperature, only one patient, only the patient is allowed to enter into the clinic. We are with their full PPE, every precaution is taken. The clinic is disinfected, the instruments are autoclaved, everything. So there's no fear that you should come and, and feel that, oh, because of COVID, I don't want to visit my dentist. So please feel free feel comfortable, let's pray, let's hope that we all become COVID free as soon as possible. Thank you so much.